Alright, so how's it going everyone? We actually found some cards at Walmart, believe it or not. And I don't think we've ever opened up one with, like this. Is this new? I don't know what they're calling it. I don't know if it has like a special name, because usually it's the blaster box, you know, and I think this is like $40 or $44.99 or something like that. Uh, I don't know if it says. I don't know if it's supposed to be anything special, but it comes with like double the packs basically. It says 16 packs. So this be like the new Mega Box kind of thing? I don't know. I feel like this is different. It's also pretty heavy. Uh, that's a lot more cards than typical, and Captain's walking across the room as soon as I hit record. It never fails. All right, and Captain wanted to go outside, so I completely lost my train of thought. But yeah, this is bigger. I guess this may be the new Mega Box or something like that. I don't know, because I, I have here the Series 1 Blaster Box. You can see the difference. Which, how many packs does this come? Seven packs. And this comes with 16. Basically double the price. I don't know what the Royal Blue Base Parallels. I don't know if those are numbered or anything. Probably not. Curious to see what's in here. Hopefully something cool. I believe Jazz Chisholm has his first, uh, at least, rookie card. Actually, no. I think he has a rookie card in Finest. Yeah, let's see what we got in here. Hopefully something cool. I'm not sure who else to look for in Series 2. Let me know. Any hot rookies in this? All right, so we got ourselves Series 2. Mega Box? Mega Blaster thing? I don't know, I don't know what the like official name for these are, but... Yeah, like I said, it's got... 16 packs where the usual blaster has seven, I think. And like I said, I think it was $44.99, I believe. I don't know what I did with the receipt. I don't know if it's worth it more because I guess you get 256 total cards. I know the most worth are like the hanger boxes for if you're going like strictly for cards, kind of like I guess if you want to complete the set that way. Honestly, the best idea is wait till the end of the year, get the series one and two box thing, you know? That's uh, the easiest way. And also, was able to find some Pokemon. So we'll get, we got three Chilling Rain packs. So this one's kind of like, supposed to be here, and it's kind of over there. So hopefully they're not damaged or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, still working on finishing that set. I found a website. So let's open this up. I found a website that if you watch that, about the booster box of Chilling Rain, that, uh, you can get all the cards, or a majority of the cards, cheaper than like a dollar on eBay. You know, you can, you can actually get cards for like 10 and 15, 20 cents kind of thing when they're, so yeah, working on that. So at the end of the set, of course it's the biggest set. It's, I think it's actually the biggest Pokemon set they've ever done. So yeah, they crammed these in here. So hopefully they're not damaged. Tatis on the cover pack art. I don't know if one slid over or not, but... Hmm. Seeing them like that now. Hopefully, like, the corners of some of the cards aren't messed up. I can see how there could easily be, because the box is kind of... had a nice bulge to it, but... Okay, so yeah, I'm not sure, like I said, what we're looking for, other than our dude Jazz. I don't know any other Marlins in this or not. Marlins traded some guys. I'm kind of upset they got rid of Starling Marte. I actually started liking him. He's always been pretty sure. Like, always been. Oh, there's a blue card? The backwards? Pretty sure he's, like, always been a very solid baseball player. And he's been fun to watch on the Marlins. I think the corners are okay. They're cool. So let's see. It's going to be the same design as Series 1. Okay, guys. Come on, man. Who they? They just. I'm pretty sure they just traded someone to the Braves or something, something like that. Is it gonna be blue on the back? Jonathan Stevie or rookie? That's cool. I don't think they're numbered, but that's the that blue border looks pretty cool. I like that. Let's get a Jazz like that. That'd be awesome. Percussion, whatever that. I like a throwback kind of card or something. I don't know. It's a cool year design, whatever that is. Any Marlins? No Marlins. I can't remember who they traded to the Brit. Was it like Yumi Garcia or something? I think they got a catch. I can't remember. I don't know. I haven't been watching baseball too much lately. But... So, uh... <laughs> 
The Marlins were making Anthony Rizzo look like the best. Oh, JT Real Muto, who gives her a cool card pile because he a Marlin, ex Marlin. But I still gotta put uh, that binder together, all my Marlins cards. Should be sorting out the rookie cards, but oh, we got something numbered. What is this? Didi Gregorius. What is it? Why is it numbered to 300? 164 of 300? What's in focus? What? Why? Why is it numbered? Is it like a variation or something? So deal with that. Oh, we got. I still have not Cody Bellinger home run card. Oh, Alex Killeroff. We got him to sign, and we met him in person. Kill Killeroff. Looks like it's a weird name, so kind of. He also know. These home run cards. Has anyone else ever done them? I have not. Yeah, you have to like scratch it on the back. Hmm. It's a really cool idea. I always forget to do them. <laughs> so is there something like in every pack in these? William Contreras. Trevor Story. Oh yeah, I was saying uh, the Marlins are making Anthony Rizzo on the Yankees because I guess they just played three games. Look like the best baseball player ever. Here we go, Garrett Cooper. We finally got a Marlin. Brett Phillips. That guy's hilarious. The Shmadja. Shmadja? I'm not sure. Oh, these are kind of cool. What were these? Vladimir Guerrero Platinum Player? It's like the 70th design or something like that. It's like an insert. Dylan Carlson. These are pretty cool. What year are these supposed to be? In the back, the numbering says T65-45. So is it supposed to be a... Like, 1965 look? Oh, he played here. <laughs> The Car uh, Palm Beach Cardinals. Let's focus. You can see Palm Beach right above my thumb. They play here. The Jupiter Hammerheads. Also, I have not got back any TTMs. So, but also I haven't sent any out. Like I keep saying to the minor league stuff, which is my fault. But kind of, I forget how many. I'd have to go look at my list. But we definitely sent. A bunch out especially well mostly the spring training and stuff so maybe towards the end of the season we'll start getting some stuff back but is that a marlins team card fish out of water oh what was it was that one of the first games or something i can't remember because something happened i can't remember why that's a thing because i think uh, a bunch of like the news people were talking about or something or it was like i remember seeing a lot of pictures of that john carlo yeah no the ex marlin I like him a lot. I hate how these cards are every which way. Evan Rodriguez, All-Star, that's cool. Jacob DeGrom. Yeah, what, if that's 19, are those cards like really, I mean, is that like, I, my vintage baseball is zero basically, so is that a good year for baseball? I don't know. I really like that card design, if that is the 1965 cards. Joe Musgrove. That's a really cool picture. Come on, man. Is that Eason? Yep. Cool. Well, we're starting to get some Mylans. I like it, but not... Got a, is this gold? Yes. Adam Eaton. So that's the 21. 1491 of 2021. Cool. And then we got a blue. Herman Marquez. Cool. I really like the blue. Those look nice. Should we put that other number? I want to know why that other one's numbered to 300. I don't know if it would say it on the back of the packs or not. I have to look at the checklist thing. That would be awesome to get. One of the blue dust chipons. I'm guessing we won't get any more gold. Is there like a blue in every pack of these? No. Hmm. Thought there would be. What the heck was I talking about? I think I saw Isaiah Kiner 
Olafa? I have no idea how to say his name. I think I saw some people were getting him to sign. Starlin Castro, he was cool when he was on. I think I have a few Starlin Marlins cards, so. We got a. Uh... Wait. Yeah, I was like, wait, Jonathan Villar. I was like, wasn't he on the Marlins a little bit? I don't think. Just one year. Uh, I don't think I really have any of his stuff. Here we go. One Marlin. Luan Diaz. He should be pretty solid, liking him. Cool. Rich Bregman. Rich Garber. Did we get him to sign? I feel like we got him to sign. Yeah, these cards feel super slick. So if you were to send any of these, I think it was the same with Series 1. If you were to send any of these cards out, definitely baby power, powder them. Or if you're taking them to get in person. I mean, I know, I think a lot more people do the eraser, like a pencil eraser on it. But I just like the baby powder. Corey Dickerson, he's, I don't think he's on. Oh, there we go. We got Jazz. Awesome. We got a rookie card. I think I was looking it up. I think it's like a six or seven dollar card. <laughs> Which for uh, Corbin Burns, we've got him to sign. We'll keep that aside. Try and get that, maybe. But yeah, look, to me, a card isn't ex expensive where <laughs> Trevor Bauer, I've been watching some of his stuff on YouTube. He makes some cool stuff. There we go, Juan Soto, my dude. I like that. What, what is this insert called? Significant statistics. That's cool. We got a bunch of his stuff. Puppy doll back. That'll go in my Juan Soto binder. Dakota Hudson. Uh, anytime a uh, like base card, you know, is worth more than a dollar, to me that's kind of expensive. So like the Jazz card would be. I was looking. At, I think I have it in my Amazon cart or uh, eBay cart. It was like six or seven dollars. Where like. If you've been looking at Otani stuff, it's come way down. But I have, I'll show it after, because I need to stop the recording, because we're at 12 minutes and camera stops at 15. That, to me, that's cool. And the card is no longer worth a dollar. Luis Garcia. I was thinking of the Nationals guy. Something really shiny right there. Foil, it's a rookie. It's always a good sign. Huh. And Luis Garcia, foil. Are these numbered off? No. Cool. I would not mind a foil one soda. Otani? That's really cool. Otani is awesome. I don't really like... I don't think I've ever... Marcelo Zuna, that's unfortunate. <laughs> he, he is one of my favorite players. I don't know what to think of that whole thing. Uh, what I was saying about Otani... And like single card things, you know? Like, I got a bunch of Otani stuff. But I was seeing, like, his, uh... I think this was Series 2. Yeah, Series 2 2018 Otani. It's, like, 20 or $30, you know? And that's cool to me. Probably gonna save that one, though, because I only have one of those. But I have a couple of the Chromes and the Bowmans that I am not saving. I'll, just, I'll save one, because it's... You know? Okay, we're back. Second pile. But... Yeah, that's uh, that's what I've learned in my short, was it four years in card collecting? I guess it would be. I don't count my years as a kid when I was collecting Pokemon. Though I, I, I'm pretty sure I took care, pretty good care of my cards. Always protect your rookie cards. <laughs> you know, I mean, Otani was kind of like an easy Pablo Lopez. I like him a lot. Otani is kind of an easy card that if you get an Otani card, basically keep it good condition kind of thing. You know. Tatis, insert. He's awesome. There's a lot of really cool baseball players happening in the past couple of years. This is Lazardo. Got a Marlin rookie. Trevor Rogers. Awesome. I got him the sign, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah. I think a lot of people overlook the value of like Series 1, 2 and stuff. Like, you know, like, well, I'm just going to sort back through this and put them in. Uh, numbered order kind of thing, but I always take out the rookies. You know, you just keep them aside, protect them a little bit. And, who knows? You know?
Uh, I think a lot of, yeah, I was saying, uh, I think a lot of people overlook the value of, like, Series 1 and 2 cards. Which is okay with me, but I don't really go buying, like, card, you know, like, investment, investment-wise, investing into cards kind of like that kind of thing. It's just, well, if we get a whole bunch of, like, I have, like, three Otani Chromes, and I think, I'm pretty sure those were all from Blaster Boxes or whatever we opened uh, from 18 Chrome kind of thing. Whoa, that, I was like, oh, Yadier Molina, and I was like, is that an Astros jersey? <laughs> that, that looks crazy. There, Peralta. I think I got him. Didn't he play in the... No, he's only been on Diamond. Wait, what? Is that the same Peralta I'm thinking of? Because wasn't he on the Tigers? There's a Peralta on the Cardinals, and I got I got I got to look at my baseball. I cannot remember now. Cause I have a autograph baseball by. What Peralta was that? Okay. Hopefully, this has been in focus. My stock is Andrew Miller. He was, I don't know if anyone's got him to sign since he's gone to the Cardinals. Because he used to sign, he'd be a pretty consistent signer. I know I sent him Walker Buehler. I know I sent him a card when he was on the Cardinals. Have not got it back. Estefan Florio. I, I saw a bunch of people getting his Bowman signed. Oh, Juan Soto, why is it backwards? That's the same card? No. Slugging. Okay. Apparently they're gonna have a different step. That's kind of that's kind of annoying. Zach Birdie, blue. Oh, the corner's not good on that. Blue rookie. That's solid. You know, I'll take as long as all the blue cards are rookie cards. It's good for me. Shed Long. Wasn't he a Reds prospect? Pretty sure we got him. Yeah, AZL Reds. Apparently he got traded. I feel like I got him to sign a card. See, that's why, like, the twenty. That's why I'm really liking <laughs> series one, like 2021 series one and two. That a lot of these guys are players that we've sent Bowman cards to and stuff in the minor leagues. Like, that's really cool. That a lot of these guys, <laughs> we do have their autographs and stuff when they were just minor leaguers, which I'm totally screwing up on this year, that we're already halfway through the season and I haven't sent any minor league stuff. I promise I'm gonna get on it. So, really trying to read upside down, this is not hard. Oh yeah, they traded, it as the Bra yeah, Adam Duvall, wow. They instantly got him on the Braves already? Does he even say he's on the Marlins? No, they just always had him on the Braves. That sucks, he was, I thought I saw his batting average the other day, and it, like, wasn't that good, but I'm pretty sure he only hit home runs, like, all the time. Oh, this is out of 499. What is this? Whoa. What is this? CJ Chrome. What is this card? What tear it? Well, it's, like, not focusing because it's so shiny. What the heck? Oh, that's cool. Then uh, Jacob Stallings, foil. Ah, a foil and whatever that green card is. And Judge, that's pretty cool. Whoa, Series 2 has got some cool stuff in it. I like it. I really like the blue border cards. That looks really good. I still think if they took like the one stripe at least off the top or maybe didn't even have both the stripes i know they kind of did it to even it out but i think the card design other than that these would look amazing that corner is terrible i mean they still look pretty good i still really like them upside down Corey seager yo we got a marlin insert card cool six star Nice. I saw, I believe he's out for the season, <laughs> unfortunately. That, uh, well, he played in Jupiter. Oh, it was only two games. Wow, he missed. 
choke back 2019. See, so that's what I mean, like the minor league guys move around very quickly sometimes. But yeah, see, I could I could have seen Sixto pitch minor league, but only two games. Three with this pack, three left. Jordan Montgomery, I think he pitched today. Well, Sunday, it's after midnight. And it's now Monday. Wow, we actually got two of it. Bryce Harper. We'll have to try these, try and do these. Because we got, what was it, Cody Bellinger and Bryce Harper. I feel like those are probably pretty solid. Joey Bart. What year is this? 86. Yeah, that's a cool year, too. Also, you like him and ass. Nicholas Castellanos. He's awesome. Turn Hicks. What's going on? And Wainwright. He was a super, super nice guy when I met him. That's got No, that's the... Was it 65 card or whatever we decided? The blue background. Come on, why you do this? Oh god. Our male Tapia card just jumped out. Uh, I guess it'll uh, sideways cards. Blue. The barriers, cool. Not a rookie card, but still cool. Ian Anderson. Donovan Solano, he was yeah. He's on the Giants now. He was on the Yankees for he only played nine games on the Yankees. I got something signed by him because I, I, he has to go in the Marlins stack because I might have some of him. Some of him. I think. That's cool he's still playing. I got him the signs. I can't remember. Because I remember seeing him s sitting down at the table. Last pack though. Let's see. Nick Solak. Do we keep it? Aside to send to him. I feel like I got a couple more cards to send to him. I'm pretty sure we got Brian Anderson. Love you. That, uh... We've got almost... A, we've got a lot of cards signed by Jeff Mathis. He's in Marlin, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think we have any Jeff Mathis cards. Diaz. Cool. Oh, there's that Chrome card thing in the back. Would it be a rookie? Camera's on low battery. Yo, nice! And it's a Marlin. It's a rookie and a Marlin Chrome. Hell yeah. We're keeping that and Tatis behind it. Those aren't numbered, but that's awesome. Can we get through this pack before? Runs out of battery. Okay. So that's all that. Uh, I'm going to have to find a new battery, then we're going to open up some Pokemon. Alright, it's Pokemon time. Three Chilling Rain packs. I don't know if I... I probably should. I gotta see how many promo cards there are for Chilling Rain, kind of like that, because personally, I don't know if everyone would consider that a complete, like, needing to have that to complete the set, but I kind of, I'd probably say so, though I'm not going for all the reverse hollows and stuff like that. <laughs> Which, I still, I say that every time I feel like, that I want to look up, there's gotta be someone on YouTube. It's like a Snorlax, which if you don't know about Pokemon cards, you can see here on the bottom left, it's probably really hard to see. I like star, but it says promo within the star, so you know it's a promo card. So it's like part of the set, but not totally part of the set, but pretty cool. Because we're, I still, because I use that Pokelector website, and... I think I still need 126 cards. And almost all the cards I need are the full arts and the like gold full art. Are the gold full, full arts considered like secret rares or whatever? Like that? I don't know. Basically, all the expensive stuff. <laughs> so I think a new set comes out later in August. They call it like Evolving Skies or something like that. So hopefully, some of the prices. I mean, it used to be before 2020. That's how stuff went, you know. Once a new set comes out, the older set will 
drop a little bit in price, but I'm pretty sure the Snorlax card would definitely be like the most expensive, I think. But let's see, maybe we can knock that out right here, right now with these three packs. So we got Lapras, which I say this every time, Sword and Shield artworks are amazing. They're, I love them. And then Deli Bird. Uh, Reverse Hollow Kerbaler and Golurk. Rare. Avery. Hate Avery. <laughs> One of the worst characters. That's not like in Sword and Shield. I hated like none of the characters were like cool. I did not like. I don't know. Especially Hop. Hop's literally the worst created character in the history of video games. I stand by it. Galarian Mask. Me and my friend that doesn't really play Pokemon. I was watching him live streaming. He started playing uh, Reverse Hollow Peony and uh, Non Hollow Rare. Wow. Keep uh, another one. I don't know how to say his name. And he wasn't that bad. He was weird. Because, isn't. Is that his daughter? Peony? I don't know how to say. I can't remember because they were in the DLC. Last pack. Let's see if we can get a not. Non hollow rare. You know what? We'll probably get a hollow rare. <laughs> Just to be, uh. Let's see if. Here's Jibber Selfish video opening. Today we're opening up three of the worst packs ever to be sorted in Pokemon history. Clobopus, Reverse Hollow, Karen's Conviction. Wow, we went three for three on non hollow rares. Wow! All because of Hop. I blame all that on Hop. Okay, so. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was the worst three packs, I think, in Pokemon history. You get three packs and three non hollow rares. <laughs> Pretty bad. I don't think I need any of those either. But, uh, was that a Rayquaza coin, I think? I think that's Rayquaza. First of all, it's, like, not focusing, and then I can barely tell. <laughs> but, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the only cool thing. Literally the only cool thing was the promo card, and it's warped. But, okay, we got destroyed on the Pokemon front right there. But the baseball card-wise, these are all the inserts. <laughs> that uh, that card doesn't fit right, the 7 yet, because it's got, like, a hook. So, yeah, those inserts are pretty cool and stuff, and then the cool stuff... I guess the like, most important cards. I still don't know why this DD's numbered. So what was this out of 300? Yeah, 164 to 300. I'm not sure what. I have to look it up on the checklist. Is that a variation? Image variation or something? I'm not sure what the numbering is. Why it's numbered. But it's numbered out of 300. Then we got the foil rookie. Figured sleeve that up, you know, it's a rookie card foil. Why not? Uh, then we got this. This card's actually kind of cool. I kind of don't like the swirl things on it. I feel like if it didn't... I feel like if it's still foil and then green, like on the border, that would actually look really cool. I kind of like don't like it over the whole card. But anyway, I think that corner's kind of ding down here. And there. I think they're all... No, well, that's just the design. But yeah, that's out of 499. The gold Adam Eden is a 2021. Then our blue car, blue border cards. Got four of those. We got two rookies, so maybe in the future, you know, a few years down the road. And then one foil Jacob Stillings. So that's cool. So we got four blue border. I think one of the foils we got was one of the foils we got a Marlin. No, but yeah, we did manage one Jazz rookie. Really like that. That's like what we set out for. So that's pretty cool. But that's actually really cool. We got the pool one. And we also got a six do chrome rookie. It's pretty sweet. I think he could be really good. He just I think is he having I think he's having shoulder surgery. I think he saw he's out to like spring training next year, so yeah, we got Brian Anderson, Nick Solak, maybe we'll send that to him. Probably not. That card might not show up well with an autograph. I don't know. We'll see. Donovan Solano. Or wait, am I thinking of I know he has a brother. One of their brothers, but it does say he is on the Marlins. 
Wasn't it? Yeah, it had to be Donovan Solano. I can't remember his brother. Didn't his brother play on the Nationals or something? I can't remember. And we got six. Wait a minute. Is that the same? Oh, whoa. They made a chrome of that. I didn't know that. <laughs> so it's like we got the paper and the chrome. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. Juan Soto. Oh, we didn't even get a base Juan Soto card. Trevor Rogers rookie. Pablo Lopez. Marcelo Zuna. Kind of. That sucks, man. <laughs> He's, I've met him a few times, super cool, really nice guy. I don't know what's going on with that stuff. But also I have a lot of Marcelo Zuna cards, which you'll see when, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna show that one. Soto, insert, Corbin Burns. You know what, I think we've got enough Corbin Burns autograph. We probably won't do that, put that in another pile for Dickerson. He got traded, I forget where he went. He goes maybe in the X Marlins. If we have some of his cards, Luan Diaz rookie, that's cool. Stalin Castro. Uh, which way is this way? Then we got Ethan Diaz. Then we got John Carlo. Marlins team card thing. Garrett Cooper. And JT Realmito. So those are the cards that are cool to us. While they probably don't have any value, except for the Jazz, maybe the 6 though. But in the value stuff, I really like this. I just don't like the swirls. The foil, different like different colors of foil cards like that. I kind of like that. Or like the regular ones, just kind of silverish. Hey, we only got one foil, like regular foil. Is that mean? Oh yeah, that was that one. So we got two. But yeah, I, honestly, I like that. I don't know got, all these corners are not. The, that's what I was saying. I was afraid of the corners. Yeah, that was pretty solid. I say, Bo baseball box, Pokemon bo uh, packs. That was those were the, actually the worst packs ever. I might just put that in a separate video on its own and two people will watch it, but I'll, sh I'll be able to share the worst Pokemon packs ever opened. <laughs> but yeah, that was fun. There's a, a lot of cool cards, as I call them, that I liked it. And I think that was the only box at the store. So, but yes, this is Captain Walks in the Room. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.